Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Ah, oh, lovely morning. We're sitting right at 4.45 in the morning. Uh, we're gonna go inside, see what everybody's up to in the lodge. I am so thankful the season's back and I'm opening up videos with the clients here. But I got some goodies to give people. A hoodie, a box of shells. Let's see what everybody's doing. Oh, just waking up, uh-huh, uh-huh. What are you boys doing? Just finished that Betris burrito. Was it good? Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, Bert just slept. Bert is the best addition to this lodge. I'm telling uh, you. It is the best thing ever. Except, <laughs> besides Preston's beautiful face. Oh, yeah. Bert's Bert cooking. Bert is the thing. Bert's yeah. Cooking. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he made sandwiches this morning. He made sandwiches? Mm-hmm. Oh, did you reheat a burrito, Colton? I think he did. Yeah. What happened to, oh no. What happened to Mr. Goose? You didn't see that last night? Well, no, what happened? <laughs> Aaron was holding it, it, it right here in his arm and Bodie came up trying to pull it out and just rip the Ripped head clean off. Ripped his head right off. That was our special <laughs> pillow, buddy. Oh, we've had times. <laughs> Aaron goes, you're going to have to start take sewing lessons to Bodie. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Last morning. Yes, sir. Ready to roll. Lay down blinds today. Good. You've done A-frames, yep. laid in white, and yep. now lay downs. Done it all. Yeah. Shot birds every day. That was a good trip. Awesome trip. Hopefully we can end it on a good note. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Got you now, sucker! Ah! That's old Chris. Chris and Gavin that went to Alaska with us. He has been deflecting the camera. I've been trying to put it in his face this entire trip. All right. Well, today, uh, found this field roughly a week ago and we've just been watching it it got hunted like a week ago i thought the birds were going to be kicked out of it for good uh lo and behold it built it built and got a lot bigger they seem pretty comfortable in this cut cornfield so we are using layout blinds today uh, i'll show you the blinds yesterday we spent all day putting ghillie blankets on the layout blind so it should look really good I'm watching you. It should be really good. <laughs> no, I said the layout blinds look really good. I'm not going to say the hunt's going to be really good because I'm not going to jinx it. They should be really good. I would have said layout blinds should be really good. Yeah, layout blinds should work really good. We, we found some tall stubble to put them in. Uh, we're going to blind them up real good, full bodies only. And there is a puddle, literally a puddle that the geese are drinking out of. Um, it's probably a couple of these tables long. And they love it, so... We're going to give her a whirl, boys. Oh, look at that. Bert done hooked it up again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wouldn't need them either. I bet they're bad. You yeah, know. you guys want mine? <laughs> yep. We don't have a receiver hitch there, bud. <laughs> we uh, missing a receiver hitch. We got a rub. Cruise. Trying to fit everything on one load usually don't work. Huh? Ready, boys? One, two, three, get on. Sure. Hello! Man, that, that heater is very warm. So nice. Holy smokes, dude. I can't connect to the Bluetooth. It won't. I can't turn on my jams. Why not? I don't know. It won't connect. Anyways, here we are. We got the last load of men. We got half of them out there sitting up decoys. Uh, the other half we're roading out. It's gonna be really easy setup because we have everyone. Um, but so like I said, 20 of us this morning helping. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna go really fast. It's like two decoys a person. Yeah, um, I'm really excited to use these layout blinds. I think they're gonna look really good. We put the ghillie blankets on them yesterday. Uh, some old ghillie blankets that we didn't use. We had to cut every single black petal off of eight blankets took all day but we're headed out let's uh we'll show you the spread in a minute this looks pretty good don't you i do Once i think we get some corn stalks on them they'll look really good yeah i think it makes the blinding process way Dude, easier look at them. it knocks off the shine yeah it looks good what do you think it looks good this morning i think it looks pretty good a lot of lot of grass or a lot of corn stalk yeah it looks good ain't gonna see us uh-uh uh -uh. well we're just raking out some cover here and uh, chili burritos 
Not a good idea before it. <laughs> uh, making a little spread adjustment. I'm gonna put some family groups up wind. Um, scattered out. Yesterday, uh, yesterday, every day that they land in here, when they initially land, they're pretty scattered out. So, what? How many decoys did you set, Drew? Yeah, so we put out uh, six dozen of the avians are a little bigger decoy because there was some honkers in here and uh, specks, uh, but there are some lessers. And uh, as you can see, there's a big difference in size. Check out the size difference there. So uh, these are Tim New Bolds. They're really small. It's a true cackler slash lesser decoy. So we're just going to use the avian since they're bigger and make some families. Well, we're here. You ready, Drusif? Oh, yeah. Oh, look who's ready here. Ready to do things. Oh, Fred. Dude, he's been wanting to hunt so bad lately. Good boy. We're going to stay. No breaking, dude. I am not shooting today. Um, just running Fred. Handling Fred and making sure he does his job today and not breaks. So, if you're liking the hunt so far, I know we haven't shot a shell yet, but it's a beautiful setup. Look at the blinds. These gillies. Dude, these gillies look crazy good. What are you doing? Oh, I'm ready, man. Your uh, breakfast sandwiches were absolutely fire today. Oh man, I, I started getting eaten over here. I, I regretted not bringing one in my blind bag. <laughs> yeah, look at the blinds. Pretty darn good. You're gonna have to keep your head in there, dude. Did they turn around? I think they were just stirring on the water. Oh, first birds. Oh, another group up. Small group. They're gonna start moving now. I'm hoping some birds fly before the sun comes up and blinds us it is going to uh, be right in our face that's the only option we had today but while we're waiting look at that new ducks hat I don't think it's available yet I'll let you know when it is sweet and I wanted to let you guys know the ducks poly double reed duck call only $39.99. You really can't beat it. There you go. <laughs> Shoot him! There we go. Load up and stay down. There we go. Very, very light calling today. See if it still works here. I'd like to land some birds, but we gotta take what we can get. Let them go down and then I'll send old Frederick on this other bird. We only dropped two, didn't we? I think it was only two. I believe. Go Fred, here. Here. Heel. Heel. Dead bird. Fred. Dead bird. Good, here. Good boy. Heel. Set. Hold it. Give. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Nice job. Good job, guys. Fred broke again, dang it. Good, here. Watch that one. Oh, yep. Yep. He's he, good. Here. Right, uh, Drew just said 
those lessers responded to the calls really well. We turned them twice and they did it really good. Uh, I think we shot four out of it. I need to pick up a couple more, but we had to get back in. There's still birds up, so. Uh, I knew that this is possibly gonna be an issue. We're hunting really close to the roost today. It was the only option. They've been in this field so much, but when you are hunting so close to the roost, to the roost, um, you gotta remember that decoys are decoys. They're not real geese, so. The short flight, uh, it's kind of hard to you know intrigue them. That's why we didn't set a huge spread today. Only about 15 dozen, yeah. so. Hold on. Somebody, somebody get up and go shoot that bird quick. Yeah, see that bird? See that goose walking? Oh, I didn't even see him walking. See him shoot walking that either. bird right there. He did. Friend. You said right out in front of us. Good, here. Get down. Get down. Hold. Drop. Drop. Look at them high birds coming over the water from the north. Grid, yep. you ready to go get some more birds? Huh? He's broke twice. He hasn't been on a big hunt like this forever. Um, didn't break bad by no means. But uh, he just didn't stay very well. Buddy, you gotta fix it. Okay? All right. Stay in there. You're a good boy. Kennel. Good boy. Come on, Fred. Heel. Come on. Fred. Heel. 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 He is so excited. He can't see straight. Heel. I don't know where these birds are, Fred. We're going to have to find them. Come on. Fetch it up. Hold it. Here, here. Hold it. Heel. We've got some birds coming. We gotta hunker down, Frederick. Whoa! Ow! We're here! We're here! I think you just scared. We're here! <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. Taking you along for the ride here at my lease pond. Uh, this is the same lease pond that y'all have seen for many years. And we're out here to do some damage. That's what we're here to do. They need some help. There's a bunch of ducks in the area and they have not started landing on it. And I think that this will help a lot. Leave this out, but just that. Oh, here we are. Look at this grass. So this grass, I want to open up some mud holes out here and expose the water better. And that's what we're here to do. They need some help. There's a bunch of ducks in the area and they have not started landing on it. And I think that this will help a lot. I think this will help a lot. Definitely. Well, we're gonna be making passes in here. I'll show you the final product. There's so many ducks in the area. There's people hunting all these other little holes. There's no reason there shouldn't be ducks on this hole. So hopefully this helps. There's so much water. Yeah shallow up here you can go that way uh, so much water the other Argo is still on the other side of the pet hills I would just do like that right here yeah I guess deep right here I've been wanting to hunt this for so long and like I said there's just no reason ducks should not be on this Look at these cattails though, you could hide back in them. Oh. Marsh stools. Oh yeah. We gotta do a marsh stool, huh? Oh yeah. Sitting in the water. A lot of fun. Oh! Man, this looks awesome here. That's big. That's big. If that don't work, I don't know what will. water <laughs> right there look good look good Simple. oh yeah
yeah, she's good. Farmer's actually out there right now planting wheat. Uh, got permission on uh, this half section. He was like, Bobby, I'll let you have permission on the whole thing and you can have soul. Uh, basically the only one to hunt it. He was like, I'm just sick of people trespassing. I'm like, really, people trespass? He's like, you wouldn't believe how many people trespass. He's like, I'll let you hunt the whole thing, only you and you only, if you put up some no hunting signs so uh, people stop trespassing and doing what they're not supposed to be doing. Well, there we go. He'll be pleased with that. I think so. Now those are stiffer than... than well, this is all they had. Flex, though, I guess. Once. Yeah, this is all they had was plastic, flimsy ones. Maybe if it gets cold, they might break, but it'll last. Yeah, it'll last for a while. It'll be good enough. Sorry for the wind, guys. Uh, I had to walk out here. We got uh, five new clients coming in as we speak. I'm far from home. This is one of my lease fields. Sorry I'm breathing so hard. I have been huffing and puffing. I walked out here to see exactly where I wanted to be because we are going to have to blind up with a lot of this voluntary piddly little corn here. Yeah, we're going to sit the spread out there. We're going to use lay down blinds, the ones that I put ghillie blankets on, and blind up, and nothing but this green stuff. So, scouting, it doesn't just mean you find the birds and you get permission. One part of scouting, guys, always look for your route in. How to enter the field the easiest, where to park the trucks, and most importantly, where to sit the spread. Number one, where to sit the spread for where the birds want to be. But number two, where to sit the spread for the best hot. Ooh, I about ate it. For the best hide. We always want the best hide as waterfowl hunters, as deer hunters, squirrel hunters. I don't care. But for me, honestly, it's a part of my job. It's a part of my passion. It's to try to get the best idea, the best plan planned the day before and that doesn't mean you only have one plan you got to have about two or three to be safe but just stuff like this me taking you along on the argos today opening up the water uh the hunt that y'all watched that was actually yesterday so i just put all this together i hope you guys like it please let me know down in the comment section it would help me out it'd help your brother out quite a bit i mean honestly i'm really uh, trying to put out really good quality videos uh, now that waterfowl season's here and I am completely absorbed with not only videos but my podcast it's popping over there a new one will be going up today and when you see this days ago uh, and the guide service and YouTube got me going crazy with waterfowl season but I would not want to be doing anything else that's a lot of goose poop they've really shifted throughout this field I've been watching them for like a week they were way over there, then they were way over here, then they were up here all the way close to the road. So I'm thinking just get in the center of it and hide really well. I found a thick patch of this voluntary corn out in this wheat field that's going to help blind us up. So, But like I was saying guys, I'm going to try to bring you all my tips all season long just like this. So if there's anything that y'all want me to cover, gotta let me know. Sorry for the wind again. But honestly, anything you want me to do, tell me. I'll put it, start putting everything in the hunt videos, just like this. So, hope you like them. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. Uh, go join the podcast. We're giving away two Sandhill hunts over there right now. We've already given away two other ones and the Alaska hunt. So, it's on and popping over there. Thank you all for being here. But until next time.